Gross. Uh, Natsuki. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she's... She has a... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Eh, that's not true. Stop licking your butt! It's gross! If you are gonna go somewhere else, because I can hear you through the over-ear headphones, and it's yucky. I don't like hearing slurpins. It's gross. Excuse me! Suddenly, door swings open. Sorry! I'm super sorry! Ah, oh, there you are! I didn't mean to be late! I hope you guys weren't worried or anything! Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all! Oh, dip! You're so strong-willed! Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Mona quizzically glances at me. Oh, damn. She, she digging on the big papa. I see. I see what she's looking for. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. Oh, crap. That's Monica. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, god damn it. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it. Since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Monica's just fucking talented, man. <laughs> I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play sometime for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds... Oh, wait. That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't lay you down, Big Papa. She just swept everyone off the screen like, Get out of my ways, bitches! It's me, Monica. Only get come at me. You want some of this. She just like, ripped her way through. And was like, nah. Nah. I can play piano. You don't want anything with these bitches. Monica. That's what she's saying. Monica smiles sweetly. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? We got cookies? Not, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. So Yuri found somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki appeared, disappeared into the closet. <laughs> the dog emotes. I bet Monica is a surfer girl. I can see her being a surfer girl. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all, at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm, that doesn't solve the problem, though. Mm, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. It's So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do things to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sarah's taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately de deliberating like this. Hmm, that's a good point. In that case, you think food will do the trick? Fuck yeah, food will do the trick. But Sarah's like, I heard food. Look at her eyes. What kind? 
Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> good thinking! Natsuki, Natsuki would love to do that! Oh, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes! That works out perfectly! That wasn't why I suggested it! Cupcakes! <laughs> cupcakes speak to my creative tummy! Cupcakes it is then! I'm hungry! Anyway, we still need to work on the details of the event itself! I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayuri can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Ah! Hello! Jeez! Like, right in my face. Ah! That was actually my exact reaction. I open my eyes to find Sari's face feeling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Uh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Damn, I would join that club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. Damn it. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> That's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh oh. Eh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... That's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't... I can't even do that. Look, Sari, it's written all over you. Eh? Sari glances around at herself. How was it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Is it... Is her hair different? Her hair looks the same. Ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sarius here trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. <laughs> my hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than... There's more than just your hair. Why am I pointing all this out? That's rude. Look, your bow isn't straight either. A sideways bow is a style, man! It's adorable! Has it always been on top? Or straight? Oh, that one's- that one you'd speak up. You'd, you'd go get water and clean up. And there's a tooth, toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But No one would ever notice that. Of, of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Dude, fuck off! That's a rude thing to say. Eh? That's super mean. Yeah, that was a fucked up thing to say, man. Voltius! Ah! How's it going, friendo? <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream. Appreciate you popping in. Yes, I'm Big Papa. Except right now he's being a douche. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan. But how are you, friendo? Appreciate you popping in. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, oh dip! It's coming to the second narrator sound. <laughs> this is this is so funny. What is? Oh, it's not narrative voice yet. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it was to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Oh, I love her! Uh, uh, I guess. Hey, hey, be careful. The button might come off. Am I gonna get TOS on Twitch? Look at her feet. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? 
Eh, it did what I bought it. Oh. Uh, she's busting out. <sighs> if you ever, if you ever buttoned it, why would you have noticed? <laughs> you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? Oh my god. And these my boobs, I guess, they got bigger again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, this game. Just don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayer's blazer buttoned up like that? Because she doesn't wear it that way, so she looks different. I'm not very, you know, good in the hat rack area. But it's so stuffy. Yeah, I, I'm on. See, she, she gets me, guys. She's a snack fiend. She's always hungry, and she doesn't like button up stuff because it's stuffy. Ah, she gets me. Got home from oh, was your Korean barbecue really good? Tried soju for the first time. I don't think I've ever had Korean barbecue or soju. I'm glad it was delicious. But I heard when you were talking about it in stream today, I was like, dang, I need to look me up if we have some Korean barbecue around here because that just sounds amazing. Because I've seen it like in animes and stuff, and animated food, like animated Japanese food when they're like cutting this. Up, I'm gonna start grueling. It looks so good. I watched uh, an entire GIF today of just like animated food and just like them chopping the stuff and pouring soup into, oh, it looks so yummy. It's not worth it at all. Siri hastily and buttons her blazer once more. Ah. Phew. It's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. She's fucking adorable. I love her. So if I keep it unbuttoned when I get, I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like that's a good thing? Man, let her be her own strong, independent woman. Damn. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let even let you do things like that. There's a couple things wrong with that statement, but I'm not gonna go out off a tangent on that. But fuck that. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Oh, dip. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Hell yeah, that sounds fun. Let's, uh, actually, she lives right next to me, so that's not a big deal. Because I am not a morning person. Like, I str I literally get up five minutes, no, ten minutes now, because dogs. Ten minutes before I have to be leaving to, for work. That is how fast I get up. It's literally, alarm goes off. Slam alarm as I'm walking like I grab pants. I'm walking out my room I grab a shirt and I'm putting on the shirt as I'm walking to the backyard open the door shirt is on by now dogs go out I go get their food feed them up before they even get in I'm dropping their food on the ground and then I go back to my room brush my teeth and make sure everything else is in order and then the dogs finish their food come in say hi to me for a second and I leave I Every minute of additional sleep is me. I hate waking up. So, uh, if I'm gonna come to your house and get you up early, it means I really care about you. Just, you should know that because I'm B Big Papa and you've known me since we were kids, it said so earlier in the game. Ah, uh, but I was joking that time. And it's possible to sell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Holy crap! We haven't shared the poems yet! Oh my god! That was forever ago! Yay! Big Papa, I can't wait to read yours! Yeah, same! I feel the sound enthusiastic, but Siri still trots away to retrieve her poem. Oh my goodness! Okay, Siri. 
Read my poem. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Big Papa. In a different game, that would mean totally something different. Just saying. Eh? I love it. Especially after yesterday's poem. Uh... You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. Oh, that's me. Shit. You're too honest sometimes, Sayori. No, but really. I want to put this on my wall. Can I? Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I'm copy pasting from Wikipedia. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe in maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. When I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a big pop of poem. Alright. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Terry hugs the sheet against her chest. Aww. You're so weird, Terry. I would've just smiled and been like, I freaking adore you. <laughs> well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems, or good or bad. That's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. I like how the music is like, the same, but like, little instrument changes come in. It's clever, and I'm really enjoying it. I will send you places that- Oh! Birch, we should go get some Korean barbecue next time you're in town. Her shirt has ripples in it now. Has it not? I mean, you're right! Oh, the buttons are changed! I, I thought I was just seeing things because her collar is off center. I thought I was just seeing that and I just hadn't noticed it. But since you pointed that out, her outfit is changing. That's awesome. She woke up late again, didn't she? Oh, wait. No, we're in the same scene. We haven't done the thing yet because we're reading poems. Man, this is a long one. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Oh, that was her. Whoops. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Uh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Uh, you want me to write- you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. D uh, dude, I'd write her a poem and you'd be like, Let's go get heckin' Taco Bell, and then we're gonna go catch some flying cookies, and it's gonna be the greatest day ever because snack. And she would absolutely love it, I guarantee it. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. That's true. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait. Sometimes I like sad poems, too. Yeah, we've seen that. I was gonna be very confused there. Also, I apologize, that was gross. You think I'm imagining things? Really? Because her, her collar looks off-center. I could have swore it was straight before. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? Aw, oh, damn it. That's not, uh... <laughs> sad and mad. Okay. Side tangent here. One of my favorite things in the world is, uh... If you guys play Pokemon Go, and you know you have to choose one of the gym leaders or whatever. I wanted to choose Blue because... Heckin... The first Pokemon I played was Pokemon Blue, and it has Sandshrew in it, and Red doesn't, so Blue is my favorite, right? So... Naturally, I was gonna pick blue, but everyone that I was playing with picked yellow because we, in a different game, we all chose blue blue team, so we decided something different. I was like, man, 
all right, whatever, we'll be this spark guy or whatever. But.